Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage, and in this video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. This is actually a very quick tutorial for Adobe Photoshop to teach you how you can basically automate thumbnail production if you use a single thumbnail for a series of videos like I do and just want to change the number. Now a lot of people who do this will actually do it manually, they will basically create one thumbnail, change the number, export it, change the number again and export it. It's quite a lengthy process, especially if you want to create dozens, scores or even hundreds of thumbnails that just have the number changing. Now a lot of people don't know that this feature even exists within Photoshop. There are some people that sort of have an inkling that it might exist, but feel that it is probably too complicated to learn. But I'm actually going to show you that it's very quick very easy in fact there's only really three simple steps within photoshop and absolutely anyone can do it so i've got my example thumbnail here you can see that it is made up from a series of different image and text layers but the one that we want to concentrate on is this one here in the bottom left hand corner this is my episode number we're starting with episode number one if i just double click on the layer to select it you can see that the number is just there so it's important to know what the layer name is and in this case it is number with a capital n because it is case sensitive but that is the layer that we want to adjust now i'm going to make 20 thumbnails i want to make the thumbnails from 1 to 20. so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take my folder where i want to save all my thumbnails so it's just this folder called sieve thumb which is on my desktop and within that folder, I'm going to make a text document. Now, it doesn't matter what the text document is called. You can just leave it as the default name. So you can right click in the folder and just go new text document. You'll get your new text document. Open that text document up. And what you want to do is on each individual line, you want to add the numbers for the thumbnails you want to create. So you could do 1 to 20, 1 to 100. You could do 50 to 70. You don't have to start at number 1. They don't even have to be in order and they don't have to be uh, even numbers. They could be words. But these are basically the different thumbnails that we're going to generate. Now at the very top, you'll see the top line actually I've put the word episode and that's because that is going to represent the name for our data set. So imagine it a little bit like a column in a spreadsheet or a database where a particular column of data would have a key and that is our key. It is called episode. So the first thing that we're going to want to do, get all that junk off the screen, is we're going to go to image and we're going to go down to variables and over to define. Now the first thing that we want to do here is we want to make sure that we are adjusting the correct layer, which is this layer here, the number layer. Now it's the topmost layer on my thumbnail, so it's automatically selected it up here. But if for any instance it didn't, make sure you select the layer that you want to adjust. Next thing you want to do is make sure you tick this text replacement box, because that's what we're doing, we're replacing the text. Now the box beneath will highlight and the default name is text variable one now you'll need to change this and what you'll need to change it to is you'll need to change it to match the data set name that you've given in the text file so in this case i called it episode so what i need to do over here is go and replace this text with episode once i've done that go back to the top drop down box and change it from define down to data sets it doesn't matter if you've accidentally clicked off by clicking OK, you can go back to image variables and define data sets within there. So we go down to data sets and if we look at this data sets drop down menu and we try and drop it down, you'll see that there are no data sets there. So what we want to do is we want to click on import and we want to import that file. So this is the one that is basically on my desktop and it is in that folder there so we're going to import that text document uh, all of this you can leave as it is automatic encoding and replace existing data sets is if you've already imported one lot of data and you want to swap it for something else that's what the replaced data sets will do but it's fine to leave that ticked even if you haven't used any data sets before so we're going to go ahead and click ok and now if we pull that drop down you will see we have a list of data sets there's going to be one one for each thumbnail that you want to create so we put 20 thumbnail names in our text document we see 20 data sets so we're going to go ahead and click ok that doesn't really change anything if we look in our folder all you can see we have in there is just the text document there's nothing else 
So what we need to do now is move on to the second step. So we're going to go to file. We are going to go down to export and then we're going to go down to data sets as files. Click on data sets as files and it will give you the option of where you want to save those files to. I'm saving it to the exact same place which is going to be to the um, the Civ thumb folder on my desktop. We want all data sets and you can actually decide how the files get named. Now the file naming system that I use for my numbered thumbnails is simply the number of the thumbnail. So 1.jpg, 2.jpg, 3.jpg and so on. So I've gotten rid of all of these and just changed the first one and set it to data set number and it gives you an example here so it'll be like 1.psd. Now this only allows you to save as Photoshop documents. You can't save directly as JPEG but that's absolutely fine. So what we're going to do here, I'm just going to go and drag back this folder. You can see it's still empty apart from the text document. We're going to go and click on OK. Oh, click it again because I had I've clicked off of Photoshop. And after a few seconds, what will happen is it'll do some processing. If we drag this folder back, you'll now see that we have 20 Photoshop or 20 PSD files uh, that are all named from 1 to 20. But we want JPEGs. So what we're going to do now is the third step, which is nice and easy. We are going to go back to file. We're going to go down to scripts and into image processor and you will get this window here. We want to select the folder. So it's basically that uh, desktop Civ thumb folder. So this is basically the folder where the images are that we want to process. So that's all of the PSD files that we've just created. We need to choose where we want to save them. Well, we want to save them in the same location. That's absolutely fine. And you've got a few options for what you can save them as. What I want to do is save them as JPEGs and I prefer to save them at quality 12. Don't need to resize to fit because they're already 1920 by 1080, which is the size that I want. So again, if we go back and look at this folder, we've got the 20 PSDs and we've got the text document, but nothing else. We go back to Photoshop. Now that we've got all this set up, we just click on run. And you'll, what you'll notice now is the numbers actually changing because what, what Photoshop is doing is it is loading in each PSD file one at a time and then re-exporting it as a JPEG. So if we wait till that's finished, you can see it was quite quick. We'll drag that folder back across and you'll see within that folder, we have a new folder titled JPEG. If I open that folder up, you can now see that I have 20 files uh, labeled from uh, 1.jpg all the way up to 20.jpg and each of those files has a thumbnail with a increasing sequential number so it's literally that simple and it's a real time saver if you are creating absolutely dozens or even hundreds of thumbnails which some series can go on for so i hope that you found this little tutorial useful and i hope it will save you some time in the future so thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you guys next time until then goodbye for now